I'm Martin, Belgian professional triathlete. I started doing triathlon when I was 16 years old. I grew up in Lunaut, it's a very small village in, in Belgium, in the north, towards the border with the Netherlands. And it's a really tiny farmer's village. But uh, yeah, I loved have, being part of a small community. My childhood was, uh, was very quiet and playful. Like I was, I was a little kid that was always very outdoorsy and I was super into animals actually. Without, without food, they don't, they don't like me yet. Huh? I always wanted to be a zoo director, so pretty far away from sports when I was super young. When I got like a little bit older and I started doing sports when I was six, seven years old, I took on swimming, I did some judo, and that's when I started getting more and more active. When I was a little kid, I was a super bad swimmer. Normally, you spend about one year in the, um, the pool that's yeah, meant for little kids to really learn how to stay on top of the water but yeah for me it took me two years so it took double of what a normal kid takes and yeah I was always very sad because all my friends that I made there they kept going to the next swimming group and I had to to stay in the bad swimmers group. My sporting heroes um, have always been yeah cyclists so I was a big fan of Alejandro Valverde but I was also a big fan of um, Mark Hermans who is yeah legendary here in, in Wistwezel in my village because he's from there, he's done the Ironman in Hawaii back then so yeah I think he was the talk of the town pretty much. I had a lot of friends when I, when I grew up here in the village basically all the kids from the same age they're all good friends of each other they all hang out together on, on the Wednesday afternoons when school's out and on the weekend and we used to do a lot of outdoors activities but uh, that evolved a little bit into yeah, more drinking activities and, and going out when we were getting a little bit older. One of my best friends, he was also in the swimming club that I was in, so he knew that I swam competitively. He knew that I was a big, big fan of cycling and he knew that I did a little bit of running. And he asked me one day, um, Martin, do you want to, to join um, our, our triathlon team? And back then, Mark Hermans, he was um, kind of founding a team to keep it fun for his nephew, which was my best friend then. Um, and yeah, that's how I ended up the day later, sitting in Mark's couch. Uh, we met uh, how many years ago? I think in 2008, actually. We're sitting together and say, hey guys, uh, why we couldn't st start up a triathlon team? Uh, and we start together a little triathlon team with uh, my nephew, Martin and Stan. I was yeah, a bit starstruck and then after yeah, I was super thankful and inspired for, for everything that Mark has done for me and like the way he, he guided me in, in those first steps as well because uh, like we said I was pretty much nowhere um, before I met Mark and yeah we really together built slowly 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 and a lot of the time along the way there were many people that didn't believe in me but Mark always believed in me and yeah, that's, that's super great to have someone that has your back in, uh, in that tra trajectory. So yeah, thankful and a bit starstruck. <laughs> My impressions of Martin was he was a funny guy. We called him Sid <laughs> because he likes like Sid on uh, the movie. Hi <laughs> And um, especially um, the way he recovers from training, because when we did hard sessions, the other guys were like dying and he was like breathing two times like and he was recovered. And at that point I knew, okay, one day this guy gonna kick ass uh, on a world level. When I just started with the, with the triathlon was actually the perfect period for me to discover the triathlon because yeah, I was getting a little bit tired of, of only swimming and swimming competi competitions. You're just 
sitting next to a pool for six hours and swimming 200 meters um, once a day. So yeah, it's, it's, it's very boring in my opinion. Um, so I discovered triathlon on the, exactly the right time because I was kind of losing the love of the swimming. I didn't, I wasn't sure anymore if the, the, sacri the sacrifices I was making, not going out, like not seeing my friends too much um, outside of school. I wasn't sure if those sacrifices were worth it still. For me, those kids were my children at the time, so I put a lot of energy in it and uh, I was so happy to see that the guys were growing and growing and uh, with very good results. And uh, So we met with, uh, from zero and then started to grow up, to grow up, to grow up. Mark really taught me that um, you can never give up. I mean, he's the, the perfect example of that. The, the way Mark stands in his life and the way he handled uh, coming back after such a big setback is something I really, really look up to. And I think that's the, the stories that really make sports yeah, interesting and make sports emotional. And that's something that's yeah, really deep inside of me. That story it's, it's what really fired me up and inspired me to, to start taking a sport super seriously. One point your best athletes fly away, also with one point your kids fly away and you have to accept it. And, but the most important thing is that the friendship stays. Mark is the person that really introduced me to the sport and he made me keep my focus through sometimes even the, the more difficult times where I was thinking about about quitting or where I wasn't feeling 100% good in the sports and yeah he always was there for me but also just because he was there for me I knew that I couldn't give up I had to push I had to try my very very best and I didn't want to uh, be weak or give up because I knew that he was standing behind me and I wanted to prove myself for him. For me it's always nice to see that he's uh having good results and that he's uh, kicking ass because he's yeah he's always and till the end of the day is one of us you know from this town he's from uh, Bustuesa Lunaut and yeah everybody in this town is dreaming that he's gonna get for a medal on the Olympics and us later on uh, having victories in the Ironman races so yeah he's from our family actually so um, yeah we're always happy that he's doing pretty well like uh, the last two Super Leagues, it was amazing. Training and racing in Super League helped me a lot because it's super aggressive and super short racing, which can only benefit you in other types of racing because usually you are maybe not as attentive before a transition, but from Super League you learn that the details matter and in the end those seconds are also what is going to decide the, the thing even in when you would go up to Hawaii or a, a long race, the seconds still matter and that's the, the key in Super League. You can't lose focus, you can't um, make a mistake. I think um, Super League is there to stay. I think it's, it's the future of triathlon in the short distance. It's, it's um, good short formats with a lot of explosivity that it's easy to bring on the TV and that's exactly what Super League is with short courses or indoor races and um, yeah it's super good for people to watch it's good for you to support your favorite athlete and yeah it's explosive it's it's dynamic it's it's different than the other types of racing and that's what makes it interesting Don't forget to like and subscribe on all our channels so you never have to miss out on any of the pro action.